Alright, hello and welcome to my AP Computer Science tutorials uh, where I'll be going over the entire AP Computer Science curriculum. Uh, you won't need a review book, but uh, if you'd like to get one, Barron's is pretty good. Uh, without further ado, today we'll be talking about types and variables and also assignments. So, let's dive right into it. So, the first type that you're going to see is something called an integer. Uh, it'll also it'll be uh, seen as int. And it's just a fundamental type used to define numeric variables holding whole numbers. So basically, um, it'll be like negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. It won't be fractions or decimals. It'll be whole numbers, uh, positive and negative, and 0. And uh, there's this thing right here uh, where n equals this right here. Um, we'll get into this later, but uh, for now, just keep that in the back of your mind. Okay. Um, this is one way that you can see it being assigned actually in the program. Int i equals zero, and then a semicolon ends the line. Uh, we'll get more into that when we start going into a uh, when we start making our programs. But for now, when we start going into Eclipse, but uh, important thing to note is that the type right here comes first and then there's the variable equal sign and then the value that's the critical part so uh, that's just something to take a note of that's how you put things in that's how you uh, assign uh, variable integers to variables uh, and integers themselves are typically used as counting variables or something like a, a discrete variable something that you can like number off, not something that you can ma um, like assign as a decimal point. Like an average of something is typically going to be adult. It's typically going to have a decimal. So probably not something you'd want to store in an integer. But if you're counting like cars or apples or people, integers are fine for that. Okay, doubles. Um, those are double precision floating point numbers. That's the um, where they got the name double. Uh, floating point numbers, well, you can ignore the formal definition. It'll pretty much just be anything with a decimal. So 0 0.1, 3.14, 2 point, that'll make it a double, uh, etc. and so forth. And then this here, once again, is the assignment. So we've got the type, the type, the variable, the equal sign, Right. That'll get the assignment going. And then we've got the value. And then we end the line with a semicolon. So, a uh, quick comparison and contrasting of uh, integers and doubles. Integers are used to count. They answer the they answer the uh, how many question, how many people, how many cars on the road, how many uh, bricks in the, to build the building, how many items. In a, this is like a, a common usage that you'll see in programming a lot. Number of people, uh, number of items in a list. Those will also be called arrays. You'll see those in the future. And then the number of steps to solve a puzzle. Uh, another word for puzzle that I just kind of threw out there. You could almost think of it as an algorithm. An algorithm. I'll just abbreviate. Well, it's hard to write. It's kind of hard to write with a pen or with the mouse, but I'll get around to learning that. And then a double. It's used to measure something. It can answer the how much question, like uh, how many, how much uh, money do you have in an account? in like a financial setting or it can be weight, mass, volume, etc. and so forth. Uh, something that might pertain to you a little bit more since this is uh, for like high school students that are taking the AP test. Uh, grade in class because that uses a decimal point and it's averaged. Types continued. Uh, we've got booleans which are the true false uh, values. We'll be doing a lot with those in the future. This is one of the more basic data types. 
Um, typically, uh, you'll be doing a test, for instance. You'll be comparing two values, see right here. And we'll be using a, a uh, an operator, such as this one, greater than, to compare these values. And just like all of the others, how we have the type, the variable, equal sign, value, semicolon. Uh, same procedure here. Uh, you won't be doing it too often, but this is just how you do it. Type, variable, uh, equal sign, and then operation, semicolon as well. Now in this example, it would evaluate the true. However, um, here, C would be false since uh, clearly uh, 0 is not bigger than 3 in this case. And there's something called the final variable. Uh, these are user defined constants that do not change after assignment. So if you want to make something fixed throughout the entire program, uh, for instance, like a, a tax rate or a interest rate, a monthly fee for like a membership of some sort, or a minimum or maximum size. Uh, those are common uses. Uh, the reason why you want to make a, a variable final is that say that you're working at some big, uh, you're making a bunch of, uh, you're in a software engineering firm and you're just like putting all the pieces together. You don't want someone else to go through and uh, mess around with a variable like, let's say, pi. You have it set to 3.14. You don't want someone, well, obviously, that you have pi somewhere and you have it set to 3.14 you don't want someone going around and changing pi later on down the road to um, I don't know let's say like 6 that would be bad like if you were working somewhere and you had to use this program and it gave you almost twice that that could be a problem like if you're making manufacturing something and you need to buy uh, materials that could be a huge problem. So final values are for variables that you don't want uh, to change after you assign them. And the syntax for doing that is final. You put final in front of the type. So you stick final in front of the whole thing. Double, that's the type. So, okay, so type here. You throw final right here behind it or rather in front of it, and uh, that'll make it so it doesn't change, and then there's tax rate. Uh, that's an awesome tax rate. Uh, equal value. Now notice that um, it's typed in all caps, that's just typical uh, syntax. And then if you want to make a space in between two, uh, you use an underscore. And once again, final double, monthly fee equals $20. And then here, same thing, just an integer, and so on. The final topic that we'll be talking about is assignment. Uh, this is how you assign values to variables. We already pretty much discussed this. Just a quick review. Uh, type, variable, equal sign, value, semicolon. Uh, out front, you can have final, but uh, that's if you don't want it to change later on. Once again, type, variable, equal sign, value, semicolon. Now here are a few shortcuts that are done to um, to make assignment a little bit faster. So instead of saying q equals q plus 1, uh, let's just say this was declared as an integer or whatever late, earlier before. Uh, this would be the same as saying uh, q plus equals 1. And you could say the same that q equals q minus 1 that would be the same as q minus equals 1. And then you could also do q times equals, the little star thing, equals 1. That's kind of useless, but it multiplies. So it takes the value of q, it multiplies it by this number, and stores it back into q. That's kind of how it works. Now, if you're in a math class or something, this might, for math class, this might seem kind of redundant. But think of it more as you're assigning it this value. So you're taking whatever value of q you had before, you're adding one to it, and you're sticking it back in. Just a little nuance there. And then for division, 
it'll be divide equals whatever number and then there's you can do the same for mod so q mod equal it's really hard to write and, but I'll get around for it so it's the same for all of the others and then uh, you can increment and decrement uh, variables for instance I plus plus you will see this a lot especially when you do go through loops and stuff as well as minus minus that's the same as uh, adding one plus plus is the same as adding one to it and minus minus is the same as uh, just decreasing it like so uh, that's the end of the tutorial uh, pretty soon I'll be coming out with the next one uh, if you like this then please rate comment subscribe we'll be talking about operators later and the uh, the math behind a lot of these things what to do with variables and then after that, we'll talk about Boolean algebra in the video following that. So rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, thanks.